Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be reviewing the new Ivation Iva Ice Cream 72 compressor based ice cream maker. So you ready? Let's get into this. Just as a quick heads up, this review is based upon my personal opinion. Therefore, all of my praises and gripes are going to be based upon what I think is important. That might be a little bit different for you, so what I recommend doing is after watching our video, you pull up a couple of other videos just to get a wider range of opinions and ideas from other people. That way you'll be able to make a much more informed buying decision for yourself. With that out of the way, let's get started. First things first, let's address the elephant in the room. This thing is huge. huge. Just how big is it? Well, it is about 16 and a half inches wide, 11 inches deep, and just about nine inches tall. So when you're buying something like this, that's definitely something you gotta think about because you may not have counter space. Just for comparison's sake, here's our previous model, the Iva Ice Cream 36. These two machines are very similar with the main difference being that this is two quart and this is 1.2 quart. But still for a 0.8 quart difference in the capacity, that right there is a lot smaller. Just how much smaller? Well, it's 13 inches tall, but that's fine because it'll still fit underneath your cabinets. But the width is only about nine and a half inches, and this thing is square, so nine and a half by nine and a half by 13. That's a pretty big difference. As far as parts go, it's pretty simple. You got this locking plastic lid that's got a little door on it, so you can throw mix-ins and stuff like that in without having to open the machine up. And inside, you have your plastic paddle and a stainless steel two-liter bucket. Pretty nice, huh? We've got metal keyed gears here and down here in the machine. And those work really well to help avoid slipping. The receptacle is slotted on both sides. And that way, when you drop the bucket in here, it can sit in here and can't rotate very far at all. On top of that, the paddle just fits on top of the gear mechanism. And when you put the lid on, it locks in the place. That way it makes a nice firm connection all the way down and through. As far as features go, this machine is an improvement over previous models. Everything is operated via this touch screen. If it's plugged in, the power light will blink like this. And then when you push it, it brings your machine on. You've got several different modes here. This thing that looks like it's out of the movie Saw is just to spin the paddles with no cooling. The snowflake here is just to cool without spinning. The ice cream button is for making all your frozen desserts. And then right here you have a button exclusively for making yogurt. So to operate this thing, if you just want to churn it, you'd push the churn button, then your timer would be up here. You can set your timer up and down, however you want it. And then whenever you're ready, you just hit start. And your machine would start up just like that. And if you just want to turn your compressor on, you select the snowflake and the amount of time you want that to cool, we'll just say maybe 20 minutes or something. And then you would just go ahead and start it. And then here you can hear the compressor kick on and obviously the paddle's not moving. This has got a pretty powerful compressor on it, so anything you put here into the bowl is gonna cool pretty quickly. In fact, if you have finished ice cream in there, you can freeze it almost solid just sitting in there without actually putting it into your freezer. So that's a plus. If you were gonna do ice cream, you have two different modes. You can either be in ice cream mode here and you'd select manual time up to 60 minutes and then you just pick the amount of time you want and then just go ahead and start and it will turn on the compressor and spin the blades and then you can pretty much just walk away from it until it's done. Most ice creams take about 30 to 40 minutes to do and if you're using warm ingredients, it could take up to about an hour or so. Conversely, if you want to make your frozen treat based upon hardness, you can just push this button again and you'll be able to select how hard or soft you want it. There's three settings, the softest, medium, and then the hardest. And then you would just go ahead and start it up and in this mode, it'll try to automatically detect how hard your ingredients are and just freeze it to the hardness that you want. As far as noise goes, this is about as loud as this machine gets. I'll let you listen to it for just a second. And there's how it sounds once the compressor kicks on. So it makes a little bit of noise, but it's not even half as loud as your average blender. The last mode on the machine is the yogurt mode. And once you select that, it will display the amount of time it's gonna do this in hours. So that's eight hours, nine hours, 10 hours, 11 hours, and so on and so forth. And once you do that, as long as you have all your ingredients in there already, you can just kind of walk away and let it go. Yogurt's pretty much a set and forget kind of thing anyway though. Using the Ivation Iva Ice Cream 72 is very simple. We made three different recipes in order to try it out. First, we made some cookies and cream ice cream. 
We mix up all the ingredients in a mixing bowl, poured them into the machine, and then we went ahead and set the ice cream maker to the hardest setting. At that point, we went ahead and let it run, and then after about 30 minutes or so, we had finished ice cream. With that being said, the texture of the ice cream coming out of a machine like this is gonna be something closer to a soft serve ice cream, and not as much like store-bought regular ice cream. The reason for that is the machine still has to churn it with a paddle, and if it gets that hard, there's no way it could turn. When you buy commercially made ice cream, it's actually made in the same way, except it's flash frozen after it gets done. And that's how you get the texture you get out of those big ice cream tubs. The results on the ice cream were actually really, really good. There was a pretty big improvement in the firmness over the last libation machine that we used. And the texture of this ice cream was reasonably close to regular ice cream. Honestly, I was kind of pleasantly surprised with that. If you wanted to firm this up even harder, you can just remove the paddle and leave the machine on cooling mode. That way it would firm it up a little bit more and you get even closer. Also, you can remove the contents and put it into a container and then put that into your freezer for a little bit and you'll get the same results. The second thing we did was frozen yogurt. Once again, we mixed all of our ingredients, poured it into the machine and set it to go on the hardest setting once again. With the yogurt, it got done even faster in just about 25 minutes. As far as texture goes, it was just about as hard as the ice cream, maybe a tiny bit firmer. Either way, we were pretty impressed. Hey, by the way, if this is your first time here and you wanna learn some cool new recipes, get some great cooking tips and tricks and all sorts of other kitchen related things, then start now by subscribing to the channel and clicking the notification bell so you never miss a thing. Lastly, we went ahead and made some strawberry sorbet. For our sorbet, we were just using fresh strawberries, a little bit of lemon juice, and some monk fruit sweetener. Since this machine can't blend the ingredients, we had to go ahead and cut the tops off the strawberries, throw them in the blender with the lemon juice and sweetener, and then we had to pulse it several times to get everything broken up. At that point, we were able to go ahead and pour that into the machine and set it the same way we did for the other two tests. As you can see, the results were really similar to the other two, and it got done in about the same amount of time. The sorbet came out a little bit softer than the ice cream and the Greek yogurt did, but it was still really spoonable. For me, I had to leave it in the machine with the cool function turned on just to get it a little bit harder. That doesn't mean it wasn't good, it just means that I prefer it a little bit firmer. The Iva Ice Cream 72 is a big improvement over their older 36 model. It has a much higher capacity, it can freeze the ice cream a little bit harder, and it has a couple of other nice perks including the stainless steel bucket. However, the one thing you have to think about with this machine is the size. The footprint is more than double the size of the previous machine. And in a kitchen like mine, even though I like the extra capacity, it's just too big to fit. However, if you got the space, it might be something you want to take a look at. As far as functionality goes, it just kind of depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for speed, then definitely the compressor-based ice cream machines like this are a no-brainer. Beginning to end, you can have ice cream in about 40 to 45 minutes or so, albeit a little bit on the soft side. You can always harden it up in the freezer a little bit or with the cooling function on the machine and you bring that up to about an hour and a half total or so. And in that case, you'd have a pretty good result. However, if you don't mind preparing your ice cream a day or two in advance, you might want to think about something like the Ninja Creamy. With that, you'd have to prepare and freeze all your ingredients before you can process it in the machine. But the results with that are amazing and the texture you get is right out of an ice cream shop. So what it really boils down to is what level of convenience you want to have and whether or not you want to have to worry about preparing your ingredients ahead of time or not. For those people who want to make their ice cream and have it right away, this machine might be for you. And if you're scared of the footprint, you can always go with their smaller machine. I'll go ahead and link our review of that machine right up top here so you can check it out. If you'd like some more information about this ice cream maker, we do have an Amazon affiliate link to it down in the description of the video. If you order one through that link, we do make a small commission off it, but it doesn't have any effect on the price that you pay. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about Joe's Phenomenal, you can watch a couple more videos or you can check us out online at joesphenomenal.com. I thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me and I can't wait to see you back again here really soon. So until that time, I'm Joe and I hope you have a phenomenal day. Take it easy.